hi guys welcome to my channel and i hope you are doing good because today i am going to share with you how to make this strapless bra it's divided into two parts part one and part two where i'm going to be showing you how to sew this bra but for now let's go ahead and draft this pattern out so i'm going to mark a square which is my bust round measurement, quarter of my bust round measurement. And then minus 37 divided by four, which is nine inches. And then later on, I'm going to divide this square into four parts. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to mark the length of which I want my bra to end. So it's going to be six inches. Then I am going to find the middle part of six inches, which is going to be three inches. Now on the first point, I am going to mark one inch on one side and one inch on the other side and connect the point to that middle point I made of the six inches to create a dot. Now at the bottom, I'm also going to mark one inch on one side and one inch onto the other side. To avoid any confusion, I am going to mark my side. This one is going to be the side and this side is going to be the front. So on the side, I'm going to mark one and a quarter of an inch. And then on also on the front side, I'm going to mark one and a quarter inch. Once you are done doing so, you want to go ahead and connect the points with a curve line. Now on the center line, you want to go ahead and go down by half of an inch. And then you want to go out of the box by half of an inch again. And then connect the point all the way down to the bottom of the bra cup. Coming to the top part of the bra cup, you want to connect the point with a um, curve line. Now, moving on to creating the band for this bra, I'm going to take the bust round measurement and then I'm going to subtract half an inch because we are going to be using a stretch fabric for the band. So you just take your bust round measurement and then you subtract half of an inch. Now guys, the width of my band is going to be around three inches or 2.5 inches. So the key of the supportive strapless bra is the width of your band. If you're going to make it smaller, it's not gonna give you a good support, but if you make it wider, it's going to give you good support. So mine is going to be wide. So once we are done creating the band, I am going to go ahead at the bottom and add around one inch. So right there at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add one inch and extend it all the way to the band.
So guys, once I am done cutting out both of this pattern, I'm going to go ahead and add 0 0.5 uh, seam allowance all around the pattern. You don't need so much seam allowance for the bra, including the bridge and the bend of the bra. I'm going to add 0 0.5 seam allowance. As you can see, the red part, that's where I've added my seam allowance. So guys, I've cut out my pieces on fabric. I have the cotton lining and also a lace fabric, which is going to be on top. So as you can see that the bridge and the band is cut and fold, which forms one piece. And this is how it's going to look together. And also for the cups, I did cut the lining on this for the side part, two pieces for the lining and two pieces for the lace. And also for the front, I did cut two pieces for the lining and two pieces for the lace. So guys, we need to sew this pattern out. Make sure you watch out for part two. See you there.